What we have here are the basic building blocks that are contained in all of our food. And the four different groups, the main groups are the fats, minerals, amino acids or proteins, and vitamins. And what I've done is I've compared a list of foods, just some basic foods, some, you know, like a couple of raw foods and a couple of um, cooked foods that are pretty common. And I've compared the nutrient density showing the building blocks, which are in bright colors, that are contained in these foods. And it's amazing, it's amazing the fact that we don't think of an apple and we don't think of an orange as food and we think of a bagel and we think of cake and we think of bread as food when we're hungry. When you compare the nutrient density between, you know, like these common foods, you can see that the raw fruits that are just shown in this instance win hands down. Now I've even taken it one step further and I've created a chart of a cooked apple pie and raw apple pie. And once again you can see that the nutrient density of the raw apple pie contains all of the building blocks except cholesterol and vitamin B12. And the cooked apple pie contains very few and as far as the fats are concerned it contains cholesterol without the unsaturated fat. So it contains the saturated fat and the cholesterol. Both are the same recipes and I've taken that one step further because I'm going to show my kids actually making a raw, a raw pie and the fact that they enjoy it just as much as, you know, like a kid would enjoy a cooked pie. And so when you compare the nutrient densities of foods, and this is just a, a, a very small sampling, when you really go in depth, you will see over and over again that the raw nutrient density of food way, way exceeds to cook nutrient density, you know, like a food. Okay, so I just invited back. <laughs> yes, I love it. All right. It's doing the quiet stay together as good as a uh, real pie, but just mm. stay together. She is beating point. on her table because she has nothing on her plate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. That's a At least good she's way. She's not marching right. around with a sign like this. Look like this. She she she's she's saying, we want food. food. We want yeah. food. Okay, we're going to zero in on these kids. These hardcore kids. You didn't get much size. Being very stingy with you. I was not. I couldn't cut it right. Okay. So, Raven, what do you think about that pie? It's great. Yeah, what do you think about that pie? Great. Joan, what do you think about that pie? Good. That's all? I put all that time and energy in, and all you're going to say is one word? It's too busy eating. Oh, so now eating. you want some credit? I got to share the credit? Yes. Mm -hmm. But you have to share the pie. Adagio, what do you think of the pie? He's working on his apple pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think of the pie, Adagio? He made his own apple pie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look how big of a surfing you surf yourself, mm -hmm. Ray. Yeah, Ray. It's hard. Mm -hmm. You gave Joan this. You guys, you did a good job. I really like it. Thank you. Mm. Excellent. I wish Thank I had this every pie, day. Babe. It's all right. There's another pie, Joan. Okay. But if they're fighting over it, that's an indication that. It's a huge success. Yes. It's a compliment to the Lady, chef. can I have that look one more time, please? That's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Raven. Shale, are you actually eating with two hands? Do you want to split with the other hands? You can eat with two hands? 
No, we're not going to encourage that type of outlandish behavior. <laughs> you will eat with one hand and you will eat properly because you are a lady. Can you give that second spoon? Can I give you that sometimes? Yes. Absolutely. He can even eat the crust. I'm going to work on these. Mm -hmm. But you better get another piece of this too. I'm going to work on the, mm -hmm. this one first. Yeah. Somewhere on the slopes of Mount Kilimanjaro, at over 10,000 feet, a leopard was found frozen to death. Nobody knows what the leopard was seeking at that height, for there is no game to be found at that level. Hemingway. And that sort of sums up the mood of a warrior that we approach the mountain with. For to successfully climb, you must have an inner philosophy as well as outward strength. You must be able to untie the Gordian knots and unravel our own inner dilemmas. And the mountain becomes a metaphor for life. That's why The mountain is like a classroom without walls. This is my son, Snow, who is 30 years old. He's 6'3", 180 pounds. He started off as a raw vegan for the first five years of his life. He is currently a forest fire fighter, which is a high-energy job. He's been an extreme athlete all of his life. He's the first raw vegan child that I knew who started out that way. This is his wife, Ayana and their first baby, Tara, who is about seven weeks old. Now, Snow, Snow has been climbing since he was four years old. He's been climbing mountains. You know, he might have even started even younger than that. And so, 